Hello again, everybody. I wanted to uh, discuss a couple different things with you. Um, first of all, I've been experimenting with different ways of uh, germinating different seeds. Um, and I found these little containers. Um, they interlock, uh, so you can stack them if you want. As you can see, I've got a spinach growing here. Uh, it's only been, it actually germinated pretty quick. I've got uh, quite a few in there. I've got a uh, little. Uh, little cherry tomatoes in the bottom uh, which germinated but I didn't get them transplanted quick enough so they all just kinda faded away um, and then I also wanted to show you uh, something I made uh, recently I bought a couple of uh, strawberry plants it came in a flat of six but there was a teacher um, that was there and she was inquisitive about them so I cut one of them off and I gave it and I gave it to her uh, since she was taking it into the classroom um, and I also wanted to show you this little thing I ended up cutting the strawberries off because I understand um, if you're going to transplant uh, strawberries that or any plant really um, you don't want to have any fruit on it um, otherwise it'll uh, delay the root progress um, but I wanted to show you this little thing. I had a, I made a project a while back, um, not for gardening, just, but I did have a spare plywood, so I just uh, kind of made a little uh, grow box out of uh, the scrap plywood that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this up with soil, and I'm going to put my strawberries in there. Uh, I've also got. Uh, we went to the store today and I ended, ended up buying a couple of these. Um, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I have in this one. Oh, okay, this one is um, is going to be a Venus flytrap. Um, and sorry, uh, pardon for the poor lighting, but uh, I'm going to show you something else in a little bit. But uh, I can't have the light on the camera for that. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and uh, followed the directions. On, let's see, where is it? <coughs> on this little thing, it's a micro terrarium flytrap, friends. Um, so it comes, this one came with four seeds, and it is for a flytrap. I've also got the, uh, what was it? Uh, the sensitive plant seed. Uh, this is the one that you touch the leaves and they close on their own. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you, uh, I know a lot of you know that I've been dealing with aphids for a little while and I haven't been able to get rid of them. Um, so I kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I've been dealing with. Alright, so for this, uh, give me just one minute, let me go ahead and find that real quick. Okay, so I went out and bought this, or my wife actually bought it for me. Uh, it is a pocket microscope, um, and that's why I can't have the light on, uh, because it doesn't work so well with it. Um, but I wanted to show you, uh, like I said, what I've been dealing with. Alright, so you just kind of aim it where you want it. There we go. Sorry, it's uh, kind of hard to tell here. Seems to be a little bit too bright or not bright enough. Um, so this is why I have not been able to get rid of the aphid problem I've been having uh, lately because even though I'm getting rid of the aphids, these are still there, and I believe these are the, uh, I don't know, but I think these kind of float if there's a, a little gust of wind, uh, and they that's how they spread. Um, so, unfortunately, that's what I've been dealing with, uh, and I can't really get a really clear picture, but, yeah. Um, what else? I had one more thing to show. Oh, I, that's, that's right. Um, let me get rid of this so it doesn't spread. Um, so I've been moving things around, so I kind of put everything over in the corner, sorry for the mess. 
Um, I put everything there in the corner. Uh, the downside is that I can't get to all of my plants. So here I have one of the Buchilokias um, that is flowering, but oh yeah, see I just knocked one of those little aphid things loose. Not that you can see it. Um, but anyways, uh, I can't really get to this pot itself. So what I saw that was really cool, uh, and of course I misplaced it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I've got. Uh, I know it's kind of fuzzy, so I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. It's Dry Water Plus. Uh, and what it is is a time release uh, plant watering system, and it will work for up to 30 days. Uh, so, what you do is you end up, you water your plant uh, like normal. So, you put this on normal, on moist soil. It has a dotted line here that you cut, and then you just place that w uh, on top of the soil. And what it will do is it will release water, um, kind of like a slow release fertilizer. Sorry, fertilizer. Um, and it will do that for 30 days, so you don't have to worry about watering. Uh, now the thing is, you do have to remember to place it after 30 days because otherwise your plants will unfortunately uh, die um, if you don't, because it'll dry up after that. Uh, but if you're going to be away for a while, this is a great choice. Um, I haven't tried it. This is actually going to be my first time. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you know what happens. And um, yeah, I'll see you if, uh, if I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the strawberries after uh, when I update, hopefully. Um, and I do have the Bujolokia flowering again. Uh, so I'm going to switch over from, uh, from the high pressure sodium bulb, or sorry, from the metal halide bulb to the high pressure sodium uh, to see if I can get them to actually produce peppers. Alright, let's see if I can show you uh, one of these little suckers. Uh, it looks like it doesn't want to focus. Um, but yeah, I will keep you updated and I'll see you next time. Bye.